Gold prices try two week high as China trading returns. Trump calls for stimulus deal, interest rates are a spike. Gold prices rose Friday as China returned from its week long National Day holidays, and U.S. President Trump pushed for a new round of COVID crisis stimulus spending from Congress. Despite the likelihood of yet more record Treasury borrowing, whether Trump or Biden wins next month's White House election, longer term interest rates meantime fell, erasing the last fortnight's spike to reach what were 21st century lows after accounting for inflation forecasts when first hit in late July. Priced in the U.S. dollar, gold near Tuesday's two-week highs just below $1,920 the precious metals all-time peak from 2011 until this summer's surge to $2,075. The reopened Shanghai Gold Exchange meantime saw bullion landed in China, the metal's number one consumer market, returned from the National Day holidays at 404 yen per gram, its highest since mid-September's steep drop. Even with dollar prices in London trading $20 higher from when Shanghai shut on 30 September, that trimmed the discount for China gold versus the global market to its smallest since late July, suggesting stronger demand versus supply. Gold prices are actually agnostic to the elected U.S. party, says a note from Canadian brokerage TD Securities. Barring a split outcome, both administrations are likely to push through a large-scale fiscal deal in no time. But this week, TD's analysts go on, Trump's sudden refusal to allow any new stimulus package, raised concerns that the U.S. may lose economic momentum, and these fears interrupted the renewed rise in inflation expectations that had underpinned the recent strength in gold prices. Trump, in total reversal, is telling allies he is, in fact, interested in a broad stimulus deal, said a headline on CNN overnight. Tomorrow, by the way, tomorrow, come here tomorrow. We're going to be talking about the 25th Amendment, said opposition Democrat Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi to journalists Thursday, referring to the U.S. constitutional clause addressing presidential vacancy, disability and inability, in light of Trump's diagnosis of an aggressive treatment for COVID-19. The gyrations on whether we are going to get a stimulus or not seems to be affecting gold prices, Reuters quotes French bank Societe Générale's former bullion analyst and now independent commentator Robin Barr. Gold has rallied, in 2020, on huge stimulus from the U.S. Federal Reserve and the government, and if that continues, it will support gold further.